So Huber's oldest operating restaurant in Portland, but we want to take a celebrity break. Tell me what I'm looking at here, Jimmy. Oh, this is the movie poster for Men of Honor. They, and they shot a scene here at Huber's? They shot a scene here at Huber's. And uh, they took up three days to shoot this scene and it lasted, I think, maybe five minutes. <laughs> Did you get to meet the, the stars? Uh, well, I, uh, I met Cuba Gooding Jr. and he was very, very gracious and thankful that we allowed him to use Hubris for a scene. Uh, Robert De Niro uh, came in as a, a customer, a guest. He came in on a Friday he, and he was stunned uh, by how busy we were that Friday night. This is Hubris! Right. <laughs> and he was expecting a kind of a quiet evening like when he was in with his girlfriends. But yeah, we were very busy. He had one drink and left. But that, that speaks to the historicness of this beautiful room, right? The right. fact that Hollywood has learned that this is a great backdrop for a movie set. Well, Huber's is so photogenic. It, it really is. The, the dark wood, yeah, the architecture. Take me to the uh, portrait up top. Well, that's my great uncle Jim, who was the first in our family to work here at Huber's. Um, that painting was done after my great uncle passed away, but was done from a uh, photograph uh, in Collier's Magazine. And Stuart Church, not exactly a household name, he was the artist. And your family goes goes back all the way into the 1800s as far as working here at Huber's? Uh, our family involvement goes back to 1891. That's when Great Uncle Jim was hired by Mr. Huber to cook at the saloon. Back in the saloon days, if you ordered an alcoholic beverage, you got a free turkey sandwich. I read that, that's crazy. Raise your hand if you like Huber's to bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that went away when? Do you remember when that went away? Well, when uh, Prohibition came. Uh, we couldn't legally serve drinks anymore, alcoholic beverages, I should say. And so we had to start charging for the turkey sandwiches. And uh, Great Uncle Jim expanded the menu to include steaks, chops, and seafood. But, but the turkey sandwich, that is as iconic as the Spanish coffee that David helped me make. Mm -hmm. um, and you've never let go of that. Right. We can't stop. It's too popular. That's crazy. And it, the interesting thing that is that 45 years ago, when we first started doing Spanish coffees, and it's easy for me to remember because my wife and I have been married for 44 years, and we started doing Spanish coffees a year before we got married. Anyway, I had no idea it was gonna get this big. Well, so when you first, are making, when you first started to make Spanish coffees, was it, I mean, just an item on the menu? And then did that evolve into the, sh the floor show that it is today? Well, uh, the way it, it started is uh, uh, we'd have guests come in, and some of them were my f college buddies from Portland State, and I would mention to them, hey, you know, uh, we're doing this great dramatic cocktail done tableside called Spanish coffee. You guys ought to try it. Wait, did you invent the floor show? Well. We, it, it evolved over the years, and uh, a lot of credit goes to Alex Perez, which I don't know, you probably, I don't know if you remember Alex, did a lot to pioneer the, uh, the dynamics of doing multiple Spanish coffees. Uh, th the recipe that we use is, was kind of developed by some of my college buddies. And, uh, and the, thing, uh, the part of lighting the match with one hand, that was also suggested by one of our guests. He That's said, dangerous, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, one of our guests, Max, he said, he saw me lighting a match with two hands. He says, Jimmy, let me show you how to light a match with one hand. And so he showed me how to light the match with one hand. And then he showed me how to remove the match from the matchbook with one hand. And my buddy Bill Bakke from Portland State, he was the one who suggested that we add triple sack and nutmeg to the, to the drink. So it was a, a work that was kind of ongoing. So I wasn't expecting that, but give me a go Vikings. You're ready, one, two, three, go Vikings. 
<laughs> Jimmy, where are you? One, two, three. Oh, go, go Vikings! Vikings. <laughs> Portland State has a, has a big part in today's Spanish coffee. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I love that. That's interesting. 